Alright guys, now we've got this web form created. Um, make sure you hit save web form. And go to step two. What we're going to do, what's going to ask you to do right here is just have a um, web form here, like you want to name it. Um, we can just do something like uh, because, like, let me show you why this is important. Like, I have a name for this autoresponder on my page, but I also have a name for this autoresponder on my page, okay? Because this is called ID Mini, and this is just called ID James, because when people sign into these things, I can sort of see where they're signing into. So that's why that's important to name it. You know, something distinct to where you can kind of know where they're signing into okay so uh, this is our big form here so uh, Bob ID form large just something like that whatever you want that to be guys uh, Facebook integration if you have Facebook this will be a whole nother thing and sort of uh, the Facebook marketing section um, I do not have this link to Facebook integration so we're going to skip that for now. Look into the Facebook face face bark, guys. It's 2:58 a.m. <laughs> so Facebook uh, marketing on this training site here to look into that, guys. I do this stuff like real late at night, and I'm about to just like uh, I, I can't <laughs> I can't think sometimes. But hopefully, you know, we get through this, and you guys learn something cool. Um, okay, but anyway, the thank you page. Um, now this is now if you want to make a thank you page to say thank you for signing in um, you would set that here um, let's see if it gives a preview right here Excuse me go to the basic preview okay it's just going to say that after they sign in if you want that okay uh, you can do a custom page if you wanted to make your very own custom thank you page you could do that um, as well um, remember you know in, in uh, a couple steps ago I told you we're going to come back and we're going to make a success page for when they sign in um, we're going to we're going to handle you know giving the gift away that route okay so don't worry about that right there um, already subscribed page if somebody tries to, to subscribe twice it's just going to give them a basic thing or tell them you know um, you've already subscribed if they try to subscribe again I don't know why anybody would ever want to do that but anyway you've got all that down this is not really that important guys you can just skip this if you want to let's go to step three uh, okay save web form okay now this is the main thing I want you to see it says who will publish this form to your website I will install my form my web designer will install my form have a web or host my form you want to click this first one I will install my form and it'll give you a JavaScript snippet or a raw HTML version I suggest you do the raw HTML version because we're inserting it into a WordPress widget and the widget is a text widget that's already sort of designed to accept this sort of HTML if that makes sense okay now let me show you how we're going to insert it after you click this button it's going to give you this big long huge code okay and it'll it will already go ahead and highlight it for you so you just right click it hit copy and now you've got it okay just right click copy it now go into the WordPress dashboard of your website and go down here to appearance and widgets okay now as you can see my widget for my autoresponder is this one right here except excuse me access, access web traffic traffic secrets here which is right here it's a text widget which is right here okay I've got my giant Aweber um, code here 
let me show you how that's going to work. Now I've got mine here, so I don't really want to mess that up. But let me, I'm just going to, like, as, as if I was going to install it again. Let me go here. Let me just pull over. Okay, what you would do is just pull over one of these text widgets into this up here, this sidebar top right here in the widget section. What you're going to do is you're going to right click paste all that code in there give it a title for whatever you want it to be uh, something like get your you know you could capitalize all this if you want to get your free bonus right here okay something like that you can make the title whatever you want it to be but you know it, it won't it needs to kind of correlate with what you've got going on and what you're giving away right here okay so let's go back into that let's just hit save close that out okay now let's refresh my site and it'll show you how it generated okay Okay, there it is right there. I just installed that entire widget with the autoresponder code in there, and it is in here. Now, obviously, I don't want to stick it up here because I've got this other one, and I'm going to delete this. This is, this is just for a tutorial purpose to show you how to stick that in there. So, again, what I did is I just pulled a text widget over here. I right-click, pasted all that code in there from Aweber. And obviously, you know, you'll put that, put this text, you know, you can left click it and drag it wherever you want it on and within that sidebar top, okay, which is this overall area, this whole, this whole column down here, down your website right here, or down your blog or website or whatever you're, you've created, okay. Uh, this is a word, a blog, uh, but I actually, you know, had made it to where it's actually a website. So that's what's going on with my site. And of course, I'm going to delete this because I don't want this on my site. But that's how you do it, guys. That's how you install it onto your website. And that's it for that. Very easy. Now, the next part, I'm going to show you how to create a success page and how to put the free gift you're giving away onto that page. So when somebody comes in here, uh, they like what they see, they want to they uh, input their name and email for more information. Um, after they hit uh, get instant access, it's going to take them right to a page where you give them that gift. Okay, thanks guys.